So look, bro. Another court video. These is y'all favorite. These is my favorite. For the simple fact, they be the realest on the channel. And there's no faking this. You ain't got no actors up in here. You ain't got nobody saying cut and all that type. Like, it's uncut. And to keep it real, now that I'm talking about real, I'm not doing no more... No more talk shows, bro. Maury to mess it up for Stephen Wilkos, Jerry Springer, Oprah, um, Wendy Williams. I'm not rocking with none of that no more for the simple fact that I don't know Maury be doing stuff for clout and for likes. Just a, that little Nas X, that was so off to me, bro. And it was obviously fake. And y'all know I hate fake content. So, yeah, I'm done with him in that whole little show thing, bro. Y'all gotta stop asking. This one right here is similar to what I did before for the simple fact that, um, yeah, we finna see somebody real raw. Well, not somebody, a few people that's real raw with what they did in their crimes. Real detailed and explicit, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> to everybody girlfriend out there, what's up? You know what I'm saying? I hope y'all have a good day, yeah. yeah. We finna get straight into this. 10,000 likes for your boy. Ghost Gang Ota. And I'm just playing Ghost. What you mean, my girl? You too, bro. What's Alvin up? Gaines, you know what I mean? the primary suspect in a series of murders in spring. If I eat roast buns with the person, I swear to God, bro. Look. You can never trust a grown man with no facial hair. I'm telling y'all that right now. I don't care if he cut it, shave it, or if it just never grow. Never trust a grown man with no facial hair. Not only that, never trust a grown man with a green teeth. <laughs> we ever see somebody wear a green t-shirt, bro. It's white or black and sometimes blue. My, my guy got on a green... Oh, Christmas spirit head. Field, Massachusetts. <laughs> <coughs> Gaynor stands accused of raping and killing 37-year-old mother of two, Joyce wow. Dickerson P, 43-year-old Rosemary Downs. Family of both the victim and the accused filled the gallery of Springfield District Court for a routine pretrial hearing. But there's nothing routine about what's to come. How long? Is he on trial or is the dude... No, where, where is that little picture at the child? Well, forget it. I thought I see somebody else standing up. Seated in the front row, just out of the frame, was Eric Downs, the son of slain Rosemary Downs. As the defense delivers a statement to the court, Eric Downs erupts. Son, Trying to get him. He tried to get up on him. Like, ain't nobody up in there never seen a fight in their life before, bro. You got people running like it's a stampede. Stand there, bro. I be telling y'all just how it is with the... Matter of fact, what I'm about to say, throw it out the window. When they start shooting, you run. But like I tell y'all all the time, when they be shooting, ain't no need to run, bro, because nine and a half times, ten times out of ten, bro, they looking for that one person. You barely get the word out of that one to come up in there and spray everybody. You know what I'm saying? But when it's a fight like this, you see who all the squares is in real life. <laughs> you see them all. They is running from a dude that's getting punched on in handcuffs. Because I promise you the other dude ain't finna punch on every man. Give me that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Out of there. Oh, he got him. Yeah. Yeah, he went a terror. At. <laughs> what a terror. At. Uh oh, uh oh, she's gainer. Uh oh, my guy probably had a career as a boxer if he wasn't such a weirdo. Your reflexes was on point. Ooh, look, pay attention. Look, pay attention. He's faced this way. He got somebody behind him with his hands behind his back. He sensed it coming like a cat. Like a cat. Swing. Whoa. Swung again. <laughs> Whoa. So I be looking when I be in the, you know what I'm saying? Look at him. Some 
Dodge that one. Downs. Dodge that one. Pushes Gainer. <laughs> before any of the guards the chance My guy had to get up on him. He had to get up on him. We bad boy that a little bit. We can't watch it two times. They be tripping on YouTube. I probably saw. I'm not going to do it just because I'm capping. Cross the prosecution <laughs> desk. Yo, we ain't supposed to see that YouTube. Peter's sister Kathy stops down from. Yeah. Eric Downs and the defendant's sister Kathy pleaded not guilty to assault for their role in the courtroom brawl. At this point, who y'all start wasting the people's time and money? <laughs> you are y'all obviously guilty for what y'all just did, bro. You inside the court and you got cameras. And you got police who gonna be direct with their reports. <coughs> <coughs> Alfred Gaynor was convicted in 2000 of murdering not only Rosemary Downs, Joyce Dickerson P, but two more women. Joanne Jeez. Thomas, and Loretta Daniels as well. Loretta looked a little surprised. He was surprised. given four life sentences with no chance of parole. Man, I should have gave him a chair. This one, I said, man, give me the governed thing. Next, we go to Omaha, Nebraska. Of these the states. Of former Dr. Anthony Garcia. How, how are you going to be the, the two-time mayor of California? Of murders that have become known as the Creighton Killings. Yo. In I never heard of him. Garcia went to the home of his ex-boss, Dr. William Hunter, seeking revenge against the man who fired him from his Creighton University residency. Yeah, I remember how I told y'all I stereotype. I tell y'all that all the time. Y'all just seen his face, but I'm reading, uh, seeing his face, and you see it like read it on the newspaper. I seen it on the news, and they said the guy kills former boss for getting fired. We're going to be like, <laughs> white people. That's me 100. Just like if y'all are here, oh, they just did a drive-by. Some niggas that did that. You know what I'm saying? That's black people for sure, for sure. Let's, stand, let's be real. Why y'all acting like I be the only one? That's why this world's so messed up, bro. We be faking like we like each other. We fake like we don't see the obvious. When it's obvious. <laughs> it's obvious. Seven years earlier, there Garcia stabbed and killed both the doctor's 11-year-old son, Thomas, wow. and housekeeper, Shirley Sherman. Who did the nothing. went unsolved until 2013 when Garcia returned to Omaha, this time killing Dr. Roger Brumbach, another former Creighton employer, as well as his wife, Mary. In the same house? Garcia was charged with four counts of murder and multiple weapons charges. Bro and is sick. found guilty on all charges. You mean to tell me you ain't get to the doctor, you get his son and the housekeeper. You didn't feel no type of remorse, bro? Yeah, I got him back. He feeling that for his son. He gonna think about that the rest of his life. Cool. Not only that, you go back years later to the same house, he know somebody up in there still and get them too. Y'all be letting people like this live America, bro? Sickening. I ain't did it. That's that. We need to make up a, a country called Ghost Town. RP. And let me go ahead and, uh, because they wouldn't even be living, bro. Y'all be scared to steal something around me. Dang, you got life for stealing the snicker. Oh, your mama mad? Now you finna get double life. What you mean? <laughs> First, you was gonna get life for stealing the snicker. Now you gonna get double life. Somebody else complain. We putting your girlfriend in there. I'm not even lying. Or, or you gonna have to choose between your sister and your brother coming in there uh, uh, and your mama. Shit. You, uh, Prosecutors in this case are seeking the maximum penalty for Garcia. It always be the square looking weirdos that be. State of Nebraska versus Anthony Garcia. My guy is sleep. Two years later, as Garcia appears before a panel of judges, to my sentence, guy is sleep. Man is asleep, or at least Faking. pretending to be asleep, even while several family members. Let me tell you something. My uncle told me this a long time ago, and I can never unsee it. You could tell somebody, you could tell when somebody faking sleep. No matter who you are, when somebody fake like they sleep, their eyelids will jitter while they close. Your eyelids ain't something like your arm, your leg. And it, if you want to keep your eyelids closed, that causes you putting some pressure, like you making them stay closed. You ain't got to make your body stay laying down. Your body weight going to do that for you. 
know what I'm saying? Eyelids, they will jitter if somebody faking like they sleep or if they're trying to look at you with their eyes real squinting like, you know what I'm saying? And I just seen him in that last clip. That His eyes was jittery for real, bro. Heartfelt impact statements to the court. We've heard a lot from the press, especially about after today, we're finally get closure. When you have a loved one taken from you in such a vicious, inhumane manner, that'll never happen. Young child of 11 and three quarters years should never have to innocently lose his life in a right. free bank. I'm left with constant images from corporate photos of my mom laying there in a pool of her own blood with an eight-inch butcher knife hanging out her neck. I can't get those images wow. out of my head. While Garcia still looks as if he's napping, District Judge Rick Schreiner. But now y'all see in that last video why old boy hopped over the counter and, and starts swinging. That's the least of your problems, bro. You mean to tell me? You're only getting two days. And I advise anybody goes, that's bad advice. No, it's not. This is exactly how I put it. If you go to court to the trial of somebody that R.I.P. is somebody you love, and you don't swing on them while they're in cuffs and go ahead and get that two days in jail, or maybe the judge is going to throw it out because he understands your anger, you're a bust. Her, her. My mama, you a bust. I'm not even lying, bro. If you go to court and you know this dude, then off your baby mama, your mama, your girl, your cousin, your homie, and you there and you don't swing on, bro, because you don't want to get that two day. Bust, bust her, her, her. He's a buster, bro. I don't care what nobody say or how they feel about it. My opinions are my opinions. That's why I'm ghosting you, you. What you, Casper, bro? Phantom? Huh? And what, what, what else be like? Y'all get, get what I'm saying? What else be ghosty, Casper? What you invincible, nigga? Promise you, bro. Finder addresses the court. Finder traveled from his home in Indiana to Omaha, Nebraska, to commit four murders on two separate occasions. Mm. These facts suggest lengthy premeditation and an exceptionally depraved mentality. The defendant had five years to reflect on the gruesomeness of the first two murders. That's what I said. Omaha to commit two more murders. Exactly. He remorse after the first two murders. In fact, he bragged about them. As the judge moves to sentence him, Garcia remains still. The defendant now stands convicted of four murders. Until finally, he shows some slight movement. The panel finds that a sentence of death is not excessive. It is therefore ordered as to count one murder in the first degree. The sentence Get him up out of there, bro. Defendant Anthony Garcia. Not you know how the family feel? Like I said after the fight, like I said, he took, he heard me. Like, bro, do your own analysis. I said, then he gonna say the stealing content. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, then he said, he had years to reflect, like, dang, I already took his son and whoopie whoop whoop. That's one. And then the second time after you do it, you could have reflected after that. Didn't do it. Then you get to court, bro. They family is right there. You, you, you still show no sympathy in court? Give him the chair. And to everybody that's watching this, if you want, look, if you want to have any hope, of time, and I said hope, I'm not saying it's gonna happen. If you wanna have any hope of time saved off your sentence or not going to jail at all, DUI or if it's something major, be up in court with the utmost respect. You sit up with your back straight. Yes, sir, no, sir, yes, your honor, no, your honor, because I promise you, if you come in there acting like you don't care, the judge will vividly tell you, oh, you don't even care, look how you acting, so we'll throw another 15 years on there now, go think about that, you know what I'm saying? Listen to your boy. Listen to me, bro. Not even a sentence of death can wake the slumbering Garcia. Mr. Garcia, you are remanded to the custody of the Douglas County Sheriff for execution of this sentence. Altogether, Garcia receives 136 years for the weapons charge. Man, he should have got he way more than that. At the Tecumseh State <clears throat> Correctional Facility. He should have got way more than Thank that. You. Next, we head to Suffolk Superior Court in Boston for the trial of Andrew McCormick. The 31-year-old's charged with first-degree murder and the killing of his wife, Vanessa Masucci, How? second-grade school. 
Hold on, I'm about to go spark my shit. Uh. Masucci was oh. beaten, stabbed, and strangled, all while her one year old daughter was in the house. At the crime scene, McCormick appears emotional. When police question him, he seems shocked and devastated by his wife's death. No, 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 no. But during the investigation, police notice a large kitchen knife missing from the home, blood on McCormick's clothes, and a rash on his body consistent with bleach. The same material allegedly used to clean up the crime scene, and they become suspicious. Cutting all that out. I didn't hear none of that, bro, so therefore, let's take it back. Take it back. Wife. Vanessa Masucci. He offed his wife. Grade school teacher. Masucci was beaten, stabbed, and strangled, all while her one year old daughter was in the house. And of course it was his. I doubt she was cheating. Because he wouldn't have waited a year to do it. What I don't understand, bro, if this is your wife, I can never take advantage of somebody that's defenseless, bro. And I always been like that. If you don't want to fight me, I'm not one of the bullies that's still going to just go ahead and fire on you. You know what I'm saying? And when it comes to relationships, I've always been the type to leave. Because I know when I argue, I'm looking for your daddy or your brother. I'm not even lying. You know what I'm saying? If females know, they be know, they know me. I'm not no buster type that'll go ahead and just put my hands on you, push you, and all that type. You're going to be, and then be, man, 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 man. My whole thing... <laughs> is to make you matter in the most common way. I'm gonna just be like, but why are you mad though, bro? Because you did woo the woo woo. I understand that, but why are you mad? Now you think I'm stuck? Why are you yelling, bro? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna, all right, keep playing. I'm gonna make you a ghost for real. You gonna come to my funeral if you do? <laughs> I'm a troll. I don't care, bro. Relations. Females is funny. Females is funny. Females is funny, bro. As soon as you do it, you're going to be the first one to cry. I'm going to you some ghosts. I got some good dick. When police question him, he seems shocked and devastated by his wife's death. Shut up. No, 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 no. But during the investigation, well, why are you not a uh, large kitchen knife missing from the home, uh, blood on McCormick's clothes, and a rash on his body consistent with bleach, the same material allegedly used to clean up the crime scene, and they become suspicious. When asked about the rash, McCormick says he recently switched detergents. Well, we you to break up the rash? No. Just that, just that area in your chest? Yeah. He was better off saying, I don't know. I switched detergents. First off, <laughs> you got a wife that you live with, bro. If she is washing with a certain kind of detergent and she goes to the store and see another detergent that smells like peach, you will never know that. She's not going to come home. Hey, babe. Oh, by the way, I bought some new detergent we're going to start washing with now. No, they don't, bro. So once you would have said that, I would have been like, bro, you don't even wash clothes. How you know this is a new detergent? And after all these years y'all been together, you just started using new detergent. I don't believe in coincidences. I keep telling y'all that. Hey, what a nice she got. Now you, huh? Huh? <laughs> Take him to jail, bro. And after learning Masucci was threatening to leave her husband because he spent thousands of dollars of family savings on a cocaine habit, Yo. is charged with murder. At his arraignment, McCormick is courtroom cry babies. Look at that face, bro. Remember, that could be you if you want to act like you just that dude that can't take your girl leaving you, bro. I don't get y'all. If she want to go, just let her bounce. You'll find somebody better, and let her find somebody better. But you gonna get rid of her for what? You got a kid, bro. Now you. As a dad, let's be 100. It'd be hard to raise. It's just go hard to raise him by herself. So why you gonna get rid of her? Now you gotta die, dang. 
Then she growing up without a mom. And after all that, all my life, like I said, it's 99% of the people in prison and jail right now did not think they was going to get caught to be up in there. With that being said, her leaving, him raging up in the house, if he rest in peace to her, that means he put his hands on her before. So you hitting her and all that type of shit up in the house, right? He didn't think he would end up looking like this. Stupid. Stupid. Are, are those chicken pots? Pimples, I look at that. Oh. She had signs of both manual strangulation <laughs> and as suffocation. The latter possibly from a trash bag that appeared to have been put on her head at some point. Wow. McCormick remains emotional and pleads not guilty. Wow. At the trial two years later, as two grieving families relive this awful crime, the jury returned with a unanimous verdict. Guilty of murder in the first degree. Yeah. Yeah. Finally, when it's McCormick's turn to address the court, there would be no apology. I'm not even gonna lie, bro. If that was my brother up there and he got he did that and got murdered, I mean got guilty for it. You like shit, damn, that's crazy. You think got life. Hey, where we finna smoke at my house or your house? Like you should have did that, bro. I ain't, I ain't got no sympathy for no. I promise you, you could have went so many routes. You could have went so many routes. And for you to do that to your kid's mom, I mean, you don't even really love your daughter, bro. I'm being real, you gotta have a certain type of respect for someone when you got kids by them. Listen to me. You gotta have a certain type of respect for somebody when you got kids by them. Don't let your girlfriend. Tell you how to act, what kind of relationship you should have with your baby mama. And don't let your boyfriend tell you how you should act or what kind of relationship you should have with your baby daddy. If you are, you a buster, bro. Don't never let nobody dictate what happened between you, the kid, and that parent. Period. You know what I'm saying? Apology. I did not murder her. You did. I have never raised a finger to Vanessa. Yes, you did. I sure as hell didn't kill her. McCormick was sentenced to life, a Massachusetts correctional institution with no chance of parole. Hey, well, look, that's what I'm saying. Part two, Ken, we got another part two cracking. This video gonna end up being like 40 something minutes, and we ain't got no time for that. Seven o'clock in the morning. But I'm gonna get at y'all when I get at y'all. Y'all be cool. Like, yeah, y'all be cool. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> Rest in peace, King Nipsey. DJ Ghost 100.